I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered.
Where to now? Left, across the square! Amen. Hey, Damir, do you think the Colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you! Leave him alone! I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people! Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel! Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. 
The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro. Nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still... Lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy no, no, people. I told you a hundred times already. You must come back to Paris. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're all right. You gave Ooh, us a scare, dear. brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? <laughs> I Pardon see you're me, all right. gentlemen, give way! This calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which... Alyosha, how you are the nurses in the hospital, guys, huh? Could you just stop crowding him? <sighs> Brother... Welcome back, Artyom. Aha! Privyat, Artyom! All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official! Yeah. I knew it! Well, you guys are like so kids. So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom! More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Replace your filter. Haven't you spent enough time in the sick day? All right, let's get moving. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limits zone. Have you been to all these ruins?
Too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get out there. Shit! Come up now. I got you. Did you hear that, Hatyam? Something large, roaring. At least it was far away. Now that's what I call a blizzard! Can't see a thing! Or here! Let's switch it over there! It's our guns for the order! It looks like they're chasing that train too! Let's join them! Hey, come on! Get inside! Here. Picked up two more individuals at the railroad bridge. One of them is the Order Commander's daughter. You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. Oh, they did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one yeah, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know! We thought we were the only survivors! God! Really? We'll tell the whole Metro about this! The heck and the boy out! Hey! You people drove us halfway to nowhere! They can handle it! At least give them their masks back! They won't be needing any masks! Fool, he could have lived. Let's go.
Attention! The turntable is switching on! Straight for the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Understand? Animals. How can they? What can I do? A method? A watchman! A human? How did you... Oh, oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her? All right. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. Looks like they didn't finish the repairs at the generator, Sergeant. Zanya, go tell the workers. Move Have crouched. It's quieter that way. Oh, you turned quite civil again, Yermak. Stay so close to the wall. Your head after all. <laughs> Yermak, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Technician, please. Get Get you so long. Uh, and so got untied. Uh, coming now. Simon hey, 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 What's with that mumbling? Wait! Turn that light off! It's none of your fucking business, that's what. Let's go! Wait! Wait a moment! Wait! Great! Now throw it! Well done! Let's go! Come! Hey! Go through! Come on! Hey! Good luck to you! This system supplies air for the command center. You're all dead! 
Sitting there. We must get out before they are cover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! All unauthorized Who are you? Andre Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. what's going on? Hey! Hey, hey! Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost! Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyon. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyon, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. You the back door, just in case. So, what do you think that was? Did that bitch actually stop some shit? Them spies, they still keep looking for us. And all the hell gonna take it. What was that noise? Let's check this. God! Who, what the hell? I see him there! The enemy's it's us, there. covering you! We got the man down! There he is! There he is! One more down! Take this! 
He's behind me! There he is, people! Center came under enemy attack. Changing position, Artyom. Oh, All unlawful exertions are to be fired upon immediately. Civilian personnel oh, movement is... Shit! Right there. We can break through. Attention! The jamming system is coming back online.
Sands won't let us... All clear. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the Tiam. turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. Heads up! It's the enemy! More guards! Get them! I see the bastard! Artyom, we need that turntable on! Are you okay? Hey, there's a manual drive on the platform. It's hard to drive. Artyom. It's just a little bit. together. For the engineer. Oh, what do you mean, shoot these two? Is Don't this the you dare something? give me lip, soldier! The colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Anna! Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What Anna. the hell? Uh, Guys, what are you doing here? Let's talk about Sir Colonel, this will mean court martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't. Shit! So this is true? You are working for them? The bastard shot Artyom! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. 
Once I can't take this lying down, oh, shit, the watchers Sherlock. won't let No, them. I won't be quiet! What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, there are people from other cities, cities dead! All Everyone of them, shut women, up. children! I'll tell you all later. Everything. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste though. They called the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess. And I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to not my this call and you're misunderstanding. Well, I jam. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. Alright, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead! Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch the mare. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Uh? Stop the engine immediately and come out with your hands above your head! That was just a warning! If you do not comply, we will shoot to kill! Fuck me, that's some armor. And look at all the machine guns! Happy now? Is this what you were hoping How for? How is this his fault? You knew everything and never said yeah. Shit! Ah! Stop the engine immediately! Oh fuck! Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch! Okay, uh, okay, we are stopping! Uh, but I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition! Yermak, start slowing down. Let them think we are surrendering. Ah! Yes, finally some good sense! Now, keep braking to a stop! Well, grenades will barely scratch their pain, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir. I will be appointing the volunteers here. Artyom will do it. Why Artyom? Because he started it all, and he better do something about it. Artyom, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. Plastic explosive. Yes, you, 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 you cover if needed. Cut this shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far. Just out of town for a bit till the excitement quiet down. And you just opened fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? We? A traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No, I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your masters. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you carrying, man? Defense plans? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason? We have served you people without question for years. We have spilled our blood for the cause! You oh! sold us! They destroyed us and you? I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! You don't know? Some assholes stole an engine of ours and are trying to escape Moscow. So we are after them! But I 
Alert! Enemy on the train! Alert! Heads up! Enemy on the train! What the? Black! In the black! Stop, you asshole! not just traitors. We are honest-to-God enemy saboteurs! We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green. As if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Why the own faces? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double-checked it. 
Step on's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, uh, before Artyom took that uh, radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh, Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are Command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If Artyom finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow. Like Artyom always wanted. Giving them all to the enemy? A grand idea. I say, we solve our problems before moving on to saving all Moscow. All right? How is it going, Artyom? Found it yet? There's a whole world out here. A world where we could live. So far, we only know one thing for sure. Radiation levels are nominal. The air is breathable. But what about the rain? So what? You can't even breathe in Moscow. So? Does anybody live out here? We don't know. How will they treat us? I don't know that either. What would they do if they found out there are survivors in Moscow? Again, I don't know. Keep looking, Artyom. That's got to be a signal. But we do know we've been lied to. For 20 years, we've been lied to. We know they've been killing people! Collateral damage is inevitable in operations of such scale and secrecy. Yes, people have died, but the bombs killed tens of millions! Yet we are alive! We stayed alive throughout those years! Artyom almost got killed! Is he just collateral damage too? Guess what? Yes! If you have to choose between the life of a single man, no matter how dear he is to you, and the lives of everybody else, all the dwellers of Metro, then there's nothing to think about. Are you looking for it, Artyom? Come on, do your best! Would you say the same about me? And about myself, too. I've spent my whole life protecting the people of Metro. Do you get it? 
My whole life. And I wouldn't hesitate for a second. I'm prepared to do anything to ensure Metro survives. Even though they'd shoot me on sight if I returned now, it doesn't matter. Too many lives are at stake. Too many lives have already been sacrificed to hesitate now. Too many. I'm sorry. I didn't want to... I mean, but we have to make up our minds. How will things finish for all of us if we start out lying to each other and arguing? We need to be better. You ask me how things will finish. Well, let me tell you, it all depends on Artyom now. If he finds the frequency, if they are alive. <sighs> Found it yet, Artyom? Please, try! It must be there! <sighs> Nothing yet, Artyom! <sighs> this signal has got to be there! <sighs> Look some more! For it, Artem. Come on, do your best. Wait a moment, what was that? Everyone still loyal to the cause. Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location. Listen, everyone. One, eight, one, one, dash, seven, nine. Area one, eight, dash, five. I repeat. Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location. Where was that number supposed to be? It is Area somewhere around here. The Yamantar Mountain. So the route from here Try should go uh, like obstacles. this. This is our goal. So, is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work! We will tell them that Moscow is alive! It wasn't all for nothing! Everything will change! Everything! Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world! Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out, Demir. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> 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 it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, huh? It's about time. Let's call her Anna and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How about on. Aurora, the rolling goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what. That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Aurora. Aurora. <sighs> hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full oh, steam gosh. ahead. Wow, oh, that's some yeah, distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a Cupid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. Just so you know, scars attract the ladies. And there's definitely a lot of those up ahead. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters. Look, Artyom, you should at least get some of that fresh air. No mask. This is what you've always dreamed about. 
Andrei Ivanovich, how long have you been working with those jammer people for? About a year, I guess. At first, they got me to sign up by singing of my experience helping people. They told me about weather stations and mutant migration observers. Hello there, Artyom. It seems to me, whether it was intended or not, that our colonel now has a goal to strive for. Well, hello there, Artyom. Well, help yourself. Because, frankly speaking, I'm a bit tired here. The only good thing about this job is that you forget it's winter. 